Ross, I believe you wrote a blog post about how college classmates are future business contacts. And um, is this something that you talk to your students about on a regular basis? And maybe you can elaborate. A absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, the you know, if you're in film school, look to your left, look to your right. These are the people you're going to be working with in your career. And so uh, you want to treat your classmates well. I mean, you should do that just as a human being. But in terms of business savvy, you have to remember that they have aspirations just like you do. And so not all of them, but many of them will succeed and they'll be um, gateways for to help you get a job somewhere. They, somebody's going to succeed before you and then they're going to move on to their next job and somebody's going to need to replace them. Having a good relationship with them is a good idea. I also tell my students uh, when you go in and have a meeting with somebody, if let's say you get a pitch meeting somewhere or an interview, whatever the situation is, be nice to the receptionist, be nice to the assistants because they're going to be executives in a few years and they're going to remember how you treated them when they weren't, quote, important. And so it's just been my experience. You know, I've been around the business in one way or another for 40 years now. And I still run into people that I had interactions with when I was a production assistant or that at different phases of my career. And it's you can't go wrong being decent to other people. We're in an interesting time where we're all sort of, you know, our own PR company in, in a, some sense with social media. How do we keep up with our former classmates in a way that's collaborative without being too much of a show person? Yeah, I want, um, my colleague Neil Landau, who's also a writer and a teacher and, and many of the same things I am, has a really uh, good strategy, so to speak, for this where he calls it uh, writing charming notes. And, and, and part of the trick of this is to not have it always be about yourself. If you see that someone that you've worked with has had a success, write them a note, an email, a Facebook post or whatever, and say, congratulations, I'm really happy for you. you if, all, if, you're, if every contact you have with people ends with, and here's what I want you to do for me, I don't think that's very good networking there. I think if you can genuinely uh, feel good about uh, your colleagues having successes there, um, that, that's building relationships over a period of time too. And, um, and I think you have to really say, and if nothing ever comes a, of that, fine. You, this is where I get a little, from my Berkeley background, into karma and so, so on. That if you put good vibes out there, then I think uh, it, what comes around goes around.